This video shows you how to diagnose and solve power-related issues with your Ring Video Doorbell Pro. If your Ring Doorbell doesn't receive enough power, it may not function reliably or it could suffer from poor quality video and audio. We can't have that. So first, let's test your Ring Doorbell to see if it's receiving the power it needs. In the Ring app, tap your Ring Doorbell to open its settings screen. Then tap here to view device health. Look at the voltage reading. If it's good or very good, low power is not the problem. In this case, if your problem persists, please reach out to our support team. They're available to help 24 seven at ring.com. If voltage shows as poor or very poor, then it's likely that low power is the cause of your issues. Now we'll show you how to resolve that. Your Video Doorbell Pro is designed to draw its power from a standard 16-volt AC doorbell transformer. You can often find your transformer mounted near your breaker box or attached to a junction box or stud elsewhere in your home. Read the power rating on your doorbell transformer. If it's rated for at least 16 volts AC, or if you're unable to find your transformer, we recommend bypassing your internal doorbell. To do this, you'll use the Pro Power Kit V2 that came with your Ring Pro. If you need to bypass your doorbell, but your Pro Power Kit does not say V2, please contact our support department for a replacement. To bypass your doorbell, first shut off power to your doorbell at the breaker. If you don't know which breaker is wired to your doorbell, you can turn off the main breaker for your home or hire a licensed electrician. Then remove the cover from your internal doorbell. Loosen the screw terminals marked front and transformer and detach the doorbell wires they were holding in place. If you previously installed an older Pro Power Kit, you'll want to remove that as well. Pro Power Kit comes with a set of wires pre-attached. You won't be using them for this task, so remove the wire harness before proceeding. If it doesn't pull out easily, press the small lever on the connector, then pull. Also, you'll want to remove the sticker from the Pro Power Kit V2 to expose the bypass mode terminals. Next, firmly insert the two wires you detach from the doorbell into the two bypass mode terminals on the Pro Power Kit V2. This safely bypasses your internal doorbell, freeing up the power your ring doorbell needs. When you're finished, find a place for the Pro Power Kit inside or alongside your internal doorbell, and then reattach the cover. Now you can turn power back on at the breaker and get ready to test your ring doorbell. Open the Ring app and select your ring doorbell. Then tap here to access the device settings page. Tap doorbell kit settings then set doorbell type to none. Now press the button on the front of your Ring doorbell. If it makes a sound and you get a notification in the Ring app, that's a good sign. If all went well, your Ring Video Doorbell Pro is now working, but your internal doorbell has been silenced. You can receive doorbell rings and motion alerts on your mobile device, but if you prefer to have a dedicated indoor chime, consider adding a Ring Chime or Chime Pro. These wireless chimes work with your Ring products to make alerts audible throughout your home. For more information, visit ring.com slash accessories. If your doorbell transformer is rated at less than 16 volts AC, upgrade your doorbell transformer so that it can comfortably power both your Ring doorbell and your internal doorbell. If you'd like to purchase the transformer that we recommend, visit ring.com slash accessories. Another solution is to use the Ring plug-in adapter. Plug it into a standard power outlet and run the wire directly to your Ring Pro. We hope this video helps you to get your Ring doorbell working at its best. If you need additional help, visit ring.com help. With Ring, you're always home.